Hello, my name is Eliana Uribe. I teach at Addison Reserve. We're going to do today a 40 so minutes class of a mixture of some yoga poses and stretching, some Pilates core, and uh, a little bit of everything strengthening. So let's just get ready to work. Enjoy the class. We're gonna lengthen the right leg and move again into the plank. Flexing your foot, open hip, point your foot and flex and extend, flex and extend, flex and extend and back into the downward facing dog. Now left leg up and one and up and two you can do with your forearms and elbows on the floor like we did before or just the way i am right now it's just to show you that you can change and one lengthen two and three lengthen four to the floor and release the knee down both knees and now Sit back into the child's pose, elongate, inhale, exhale. You can adjust lie down on our backs and that's why I have my second mat to put it on top to have a little bit of cushion for your back. So we're going to lengthen arms. Notice how your shoulders are back and down. Your abdomen is completely into your abdomen and your arms elongating, palms facing each other. Without lifting your feet on the floor, you're going to move back as far as you feel you can. Some of you may want to go further back or some of you may stay a little bit higher. Inhale, exhale, move again back and reach high, inhale, exhale. Notice how I'm not moving my chin all the way into my chest. Always imagine as if you're holding a little apple or a lemon between your chin and your chest. Again, inhale, exhale, move back, and reach all the way up. Release both your arms down. Breathe. Extend again your arms. And we're going to move again back. Now, it's not about collapsing. It's about keeping that back straight and your tailbone just tucked under gently. We're going to move the right arm up and the left leg and turn to the right and move back to the center and changing sides to the left and center right side and left leg with a turn and again left arm and right leg with your turn one more time on each side right and left leg and left side and right leg up and release down come and sit up inhale Exhale. Now again, extend both your arms and move back. This may be a little bit challenging for some of you, so I always suggest to put your forearms and elbows on the floor. And when you do so, two things very, very important. One, don't shrug your shoulders. Two, do not collapse down. So keep your pelvis in neutral position. You keep your natural curves of your spine without kind of exaggerating any of the curves in one way or the other. I'm going to stay high, but if you decide again, you need to go back on your forearms and elbows, do so. Now we're going to move the right leg up, pointing your foot, inhale, exhale, move back, one, and again, high, and two, and up, and three, Reach high and we're going to change. Now left leg up and move back. One, high, two, 
and up high, three, up high, foot on the floor, allow your knees to go and drop down, and round in your back, exhale. So again, your feet flat on the floor, lengthen your arms, inhale, exhale, move back. Now move both legs up off the floor and we're going to lengthen. One, and flex. Two, flex. Three, flex. Four, flex. Five, flex. Six, flex. Seven, flex. Eight, flex. Feet on the floor, knees to the side, inhale. Exhale, top of the head reaches down to the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Now, a little bit more challenging. And once again, I suggest that some of you put your forearms and elbows on the floor. So lengthen arms, inhale. Exhale, move back. And now both legs long. Put your palms together as if you're shooting all the way up diagonally. Now open legs, cross and close, and two, close and cross, three, four, abdomen in, and notice how my back is straight instead of collapsing. And last one, six, flex, feet down, and again, release, round in your back. Exhale. We're gonna lie down on our backs. <clears throat> We're gonna do a very, very easy movement that is an excellent movement for your legs and also to keep that hip nice and mobile. So we're gonna do what is called wiping the windshield. So as the name says, you can imagine that you're gonna wipe the windshield of your car with your right leg. So we're gonna move first to the left. Notice how your IT band is really lengthening. You are not lifting on the floor your right shoulder. You're keeping your right shoulder on the floor and you're not trying to go too far to the left. It's too difficult, just do it simple. And again, center and out, and center in, center out, center in, center out. Since the class is just 20 minutes, we're gonna do just three of each exercise, and you can just pause your video and do eight or more and start again. Now we're gonna do just circles with your legs, two, three, four, and change direction, one, two, three, and four. Now let's just see how the flexibility around the ankle is. We're gonna flex your foot. Some of you may notice that your foot flexes this much. Some others you may have full flexion around your ankle and pause, two, three, four, five, and six. Move the leg up and release the right leg down towards the floor without touching the floor. We're gonna do abduction with the leg without external rotation. So we are not going to move the kneecap to the right side and the head of the femur moving all the way to the right side of your hip socket. We're gonna keep the head of the femur right there in the center or more towards the inside of your hip socket and just abduct the leg keeping your kneecap facing up to the sky, and two, center, three, and center, let's just do six of these, center, five, center, six, center, and down. Now move the left leg up, we're gonna move the left leg all the way to the right, and internal rotation, Center left, center <clears throat> right, center left, center right, center left, circles two, three, four, and change direction two, three, and four. Move the leg up, 
flex your foot, release the leg towards the floor without touching the floor, and now abduction one, and center. Move the leg as far to the left as you can. The head of the femur will hit the wall of the hip socket, and then you won't be able to move the leg anymore. Sometimes it may be the, you know, the hip socket that doesn't allow you a bigger movement, and sometimes are the tissues that are not especially fascial are not flexible enough and release down. Flex both your feet, feet flat on the floor, inhale, <coughs> exhale. Now we're going to put our hands by our ears, elbows on the floor. Notice how I'm not arching my lower back. I'm going to make sure that my lower back is fully imprinted on the floor. And instead of trying to peel off the floor, move your chin up to your chest and kind of hug the head with your elbows, you're going to just think about that small apple in between your chin and your chest and you're going to keep your elbows wide open. So it goes deep here in your ribcage, you're curling it up. Inhale, exhale, one, and down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, and six, and down. Now off the floor with your feet and off the floor with your upper body, shoulders, partially shoulder blades, of course, and back of the head. Now we're going to lengthen one leg and keep the knee, the left knee flexed, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to move the knee a little bit closer and you're going to turn to the right as if you wanted to touch your left elbow with the left elbow of the right knee, but you're just going to turn and change legs. So one, two, three, so we keep elongating, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move your legs up, inhale, exhale. I'm going to roll over. I find this a very, very tough and challenging movement for a lot of people, especially if you are over 60 and you haven't done a lot of this movement or you haven't had any practice, like for instance, yoga or Pilates. So we're going to, I'm going to encourage you just to peel off the floor one inch. That's it. So we're going to move the legs closer to the chest. Make sure that we are not arching the neck. So your chin goes gently into the chest. So we keep the neck completely long. If you feel you're too stiff in the neck and you feel your head is arched this much, then you're going to roll a towel and put it on the knee so you keep the length in your neck. Kind of your neck always has prolongation of the rest of the spine. So we're going to move the legs close to the chest and lift. Notice how I'm going to do the easy version. One, down and release. Legs in and up, down and release. And again, move the legs in gently to make it a little bit easier. Roll over, down and release. And for those a little bit more seasoned in the practice, we're going to roll over, down, and move the legs towards the floor. And again, make a little pause here. Roll over two, down, move the legs closer to the floor, and again, little pause. Roll over three, down, legs down to the floor, and up. So you have two choices, six of each one, because we did three of one and three of the other to show every example, but you could have done one or the other, or both. Now I'm going to introduce you to the jackknife. For those that found the previous two too difficult, just do the same we did, either the first one or the second, 
And for those that are fine, you can try the jackknife. We're going to do so. So all we're going to do is do the same we did before. But when we get here, you're going to reach high to the sky with your feet. Release back to the horizontal and roll down. Legs towards the floor. And again, 90 degree. Roll over. Reach high. Release. Roll down. Legs down. And one more. Roll over. Reach high. Release to the horizontal. And down. Now what I don't want you to do is to the plow of yoga, which is something like this. I don't want you to have your legs so low. I want you to always keep your legs parallel to the floor. And from here you reach up, then you move back to the horizontal, and then you roll down. Now we're going to put our feet flat on the floor, knees flexed, palms down, abdomen in. And we're going to lift over the floor your pelvis. Now, look at me. I'm going to put my arms here so you can see my back. I'm not doing this as if I wanted to go into the bridge of yoga. Notice how my back is arched. My abdomen could, could be feeling like a balloon. And that's excellent. That's when you want a back extension or really deep arch but we don't want that we don't want the back to have any arch we don't want to exaggerate any of the curves of the back so what we're going to do is keep the lower back fully imprinted tucking the tailbone under gently so notice full lower back imprinted the moment we imprint the lower back we are already tilting the pelvis back and allowing the tailbone to tuck under it and like that, you are going to peel off the floor so your abdomen will be in all the time towards your spine. And you will form a diagonal from the tip of the knees to your shoulders. Now you're going to move the right foot off the floor, point your foot and move the leg down. One, up, two, up, three, and up. Now I put my hands here just to show you that these prominent two bones, the front of the pelvis, are not moving to one side or the other. They keep completely up to the sky and square. See? And down. We're going to do it. I'm going to keep like this so you keep focus on your pelvis, not only square, but same height. Let's just call this the headlines are just up. And again, left leg up and down. One, up, two, up, three, up, and you can go on and on up to eight or 10 and release again all the way down. Move your knees towards your chest one at a time. Inhale, exhale. Remember, every practice we do should be a joy, should be not a struggle. So that's why I like to do my practices slow and give instructions so you can repeat. And when you know the movement by heart, then you don't need me and you can just find pause and do as many as you can. But I don't want you to get in bad habits with your movements. We're going to do it again, so tuck the tailbone under and peel off the floor. This time, what we're going to do is lengthen the right leg, reach high. Now, with the left foot, you're going to imagine that you're going to push the floor away, as if you wanted to just imagine your foot is on the sand, and you want to deepen that foot in the sand, and as you do so, you lift and release down a little bit, and lift. This is some excellent work to tone the muscles of the left leg. So the right leg is not doing much, just keeping the length. And release all the way down. Let's just do the same with the left. And one, release, two, release three, 
release, four, release, go down, and we're going to start down, down, starting with the upper part of your back, articulating, going down, 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 ending with your sacrum. And now we're going to do the same, but the opposite. So right leg up, and we're still on the floor. Now we're going to lift to the floor, tucking under the tailbone and keeping that pelvis tilted and move up of the floor, one, two, three, and down to the floor, one, two, three. Up of the floor, one, two, three, down to the floor, one, two, three. We peel the floor first, the lower part, move up, and when we go down, we first go to the floor with the upper part of the back and move down. So, again, off the floor, starting with the lower part, sacrum, lower back, and lift, and down, and again, up, and down, and again, up, and down and release we're going to do the same with the left so abdomen in don't forget that shoulders down your chin is not too close but enough to keep the length in your neck and one two three 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 one, two, three, and just do one more time, and release down. Feet flat on the floor, inhale, exhale. Now we're going to roll up. It's not an easy movement for a lot of people. It's a piece of cake for so many already. A lot of people are now practicing, so Let's just, as we are all kinds of public, let's just do the easy version, which would be with your palms on the floor. Those more seasoned in the practice, you can cross your arms to make it a little bit more challenging. Or those that want to use your arms, you will extend your arms. Now, when we extend the, bar, the arms behind, notice the wrong way to do it arching and reaching to the floor with your arms. So we're going to lift up the floor your arms and press the back closer to the floor. Inhaling and as you exhale slowly, you reach all the way to the front wall, dive your head in between your arms, reach up to the sky with long arms and back and start moving down and when you feel you're coming closer to the floor, you can just tuck the tailbone under. And again, inhale, exhale, and reach away, dive in between, reach high to the sky, and release closer to the floor, and down. Now let's just do it in the wrong way. It would be first to stand like this, and you will find that as you try to move up and your back is already arched, it's going to be more difficult to peel off the floor. So we correct down. Wrong. Chin too close to the chest. So when you move up, just try to create distance, lengthen, dive in between both your arms, reach all the way up to the sky. And as you go down wrong, wrong collapsing, just chin poly to the floor and you very gently start going down to the floor. Notice how your heels did not lift off the floor at any moment. Let's just go back again on the mat because this movement usually moves you a little bit back. Good. Now we can do the same movement, lifting one leg and then down and lift the other leg. So inhale, exhale up, 
you're going to reach diagonally with your arms and then flex your foot and down. Do the same with the other, feet flat when we are on the floor, point your foot of the leg that will move up. Exhale, flex your foot as you move down, and again, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, and release your arms on the floor. Now we're going to do some facing down. I'm going to be here. You're going to open your legs mat width apart, no more than that, or it could be even less. Well, I find it very comfortable mat width apart. Rest one hand on top of the other, making pillows. And we're going to flex the knees, flex your feet, and bring the inner heels together. We're going to do them well. So imagine your legs are the tail of a well, and we're going to lift that tail off the water. So your knees are on the water and your thighs, and we're going to try to lift the tail off the water. So one, squeeze, and down. And again, exhale as you lift, inhale as you release. 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 And now we're going to do the last one. We're going to hold it for one, press your inner heels for two, three, four, five and six and release down. Now this time we're going to keep your tail in the water, of course with your feet up, and we're going to lift the upper body. I'm going to start doing the wrong way. The wrong way would be to try to lift your pubic bone on the floor and try to lift up, that would be impossible. So allow your pubic bone to sink down to the floor, glue it completely to your mat, and now lift up on the floor, chest, ribcage, arms, and palms. And again, squeeze, press your abdomen in, squeeze your pelvic floor muscles, and release. And again, up, and down, and we're going to do it one more time. Up, and down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make all of these movements together and we're going to add a traction to your shoulder blades. Let me just show you. We're going to bring upper body on the floor like we just did. We're going to bring the tail of the water like we did before. And we're going to open arms, keep your elbows flexed and reach to the back wall with your elbows, making a traction. So inhale, exhale, one and down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, lengthen, bring the legs close together, Tuck the toes under of both your feet. Now notice how both legs are very active at this moment. Even if I'm not moving, I'm squeezing the muscles, kind of hugging my bones from the glutes all the way down to the lower legs. Now what I'm going to do is move the right leg up on the floor, point and flex and point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Now point and move the leg out and cross, and two, cross, three, cross, four, 
cross, five, cross, six, cross, center, down. And with the left, out, cross, two, cross, three, cross, four, cross, five, cross. Let's just do six on this side. Center and down. Inhale, exhale. We're going to come up on our forearms and elbows. Wrong position. Shoulders up, sinking down. Right position, pubic bone sunk to the floor and shoulders away from your ears. Now allow your palms to move a little bit out. Kind of like, notice how we don't have the wrist just aligned with your elbow. A little bit out, doesn't matter. And up, just to have more space between your shoulders so one and down, two, down, three, excellent for your lower back, down, and also of course your abdomen. As we strengthen abdomen, we strengthen lower back and the opposite. And up. So we want to have flat abdomen, but if you have, if you have, or we have poor posture when we sit and start rounding the back, you're not strengthening your abdomen, neither are you strengthening your back. So to keep a good posture is very, very important to strengthen back and of course also abdomen because I know nowadays people are really, really obsessive about having a flat abdomen. Now let's just Keep your forehead and head on the floor, shoulders down. We are going to tuck the toes under, up, and come up into the plank. We're going to hold just a little bit. Move the right leg up, flex your foot, and leg down. One, two, three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. I like to move a little bit when I ask you to be in plank because that distracts the mind. We didn't get along in our legs, but you really got some more time in the plank without having to think about holding the plank or doing the movement that I was asking you to do. So those are little tricks for your mind. And just sit back to your heels, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now, we are going to sit to the right of your feet. Now this knee, meaning your left knee, is in a very close angle, so very careful with that. If you feel that's not good, I'd rather you lengthen one or two legs. Always, always, we need to be very careful with our joints, especially knees and shoulders. So now, we're going to do our mermaids. Excellent to keep working on your waist, trimming that waist. And one side, we're going to go to the left and to the center, just four times, you can do more. Now notice how I keep my elbows wide, wide open, and I just imagine how the right elbow reaches up and the left elbow reaches down and back to where we were. And again, one elbow reaching up and the other elbow reaching down, and we move back to where we are, or we were. And now, we're going to do 90 and 90 degree with our legs, keeping one hip on top of the other. Wrong. Wrong. Just one hip on top of the other, one shoulder aligned with the other. This shoulder 
is not this is stabilized is stable away from your ears nothing can happen to the shoulder it's completely stable if you are here that shoulder is prone to tears if you do the wrong movement so now lengthen your arms i'm going to move the leg up towards the arm doesn't matter it doesn't touch it won't touch it but just for you to have a guy now this is not about opening hip but lifting the head leg up knee and ankle same height and three you're going to feel the work from the waist four down five and six very good now flex your foot and you're going to imagine that you're going to push the back wall away and one or in this case that big heavy glass door and three and back four and back five back six and back very good now we're going to do external rotation and reach to the leg either from the inside or from the outside i like it to hold it from the inside go back to your shoulder make sure you're not starting to Forget about the stability of the right shoulder and move the leg close. And one, two, three. You could flex or point your foot, doesn't make much difference. It's just different stretch around the ankle and the lower leg. Very good. So inhale, exhale, release the leg down. We're going to keep that hip externally rotated. So see how the head of the femur moved all the way to the other side of your hip socket. And we're going to sweep the leg in and back and two back to where we were three back along the mat four and back five back six and back to where we were now close your hip point your foot and move the leg back and one very good two so every time we move the leg back, it goes very deep in your glutes. Five, hold the height of the leg. Six, front, back, center, and down. Move one knee on top of the other, one leg on top of the other. Lift knees and feet on the floor. You may put your hands just by the ear and one, and flex and two flex three flex four flex five flex six flex seven flex eight flex down and you may sit up inhale reach up and we will change sides now sit to the other side of your feet fingers by your ears inhale exhale one notice how your elbows are wide apart and center and two center three center four center five center six center seven center eight center very good forearms and elbow on the floor of the other arm stabilize your shoulder hip on top of hip shoulder aligned with the other and now leg up and we are going to Move the leg up, down. Two, you could flex your foot. Now that we have the knee flex, it will be easier for your knee. And five, down, six, down, seven, and eight. And now, reach to the back wall. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rotate externally, leg high, grab the leg from the inside, inhale, exhale down and now sweep the leg in. One and two, very good. Shoulder, four, back, five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, and back. Hip on top of hip, now we close the hip, point your foot, move the leg back, one and two, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, and front, back, and front, center, and down. Now knee on top of knee, move your knees up, move your feet up, brush your fingers just by the ear, stabilize your shoulder, and one, flex, two, flex, three, flex, four, flex, five, flex, six, flex, seven, flex, eight, flex, sit. Inhale, exhale, deep down to the legs and pause, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, inhale, exhale. That is enough for today. I hope you enjoy the class. Keep practicing. Enjoy every time we get together. And we'll be back soon. Thumbs up.